what if you are a Louis Vuitton lover and you like to see your Louis Vuitton SLGs through your bag? Hey everybody, thanks for joining. I'm glad you're here. If you're new here, my name is Eva. I do bag videos, reviews of bags, bag comparisons, vintage bags, you know, all things related to bags. If you enjoy that kind of content, I would really appreciate you subscribing. I would enjoy your company as we go forward. Recently, I posted this video where I went to the coach store because I wanted to see the jelly bags in person, but when I went there, they weren't in the stores yet. Or see this other recent video where I talked about how I've been going to coach lately for novelty bags, and this is another great case in point. I posted a video with me talking about my Ferla jelly bag, or actually what Ferla calls their candy bag, and me photoshopping in a picture of the uh, coach uh, jelly bag. I couldn't see them in person because they weren't in the stores yet. But anyway, while I was in there, I talked to my SA. Of course, she knew that I was in there looking for them. So she told me that they were supposed to be in the stores like somewhere around uh, March 18th. And she said she would text me when they came in and you know, yada, yada, yada. And I was like, okay, that's cool. But I had kind of put it out of my mind because I had this big trip coming up. I will tell you about that in a video coming up soon. And so in my mind, I was really preoccupied with this trip. I was away and when I came back, it did cross my mind because I was like, you know, she never texted me. And I was like, oh well, no big deal. Well, sure enough, a few days later, she texted me and said that, Unfortunately, our store was not going to be getting any bags due to the high demand. And she said, but they just received an online return and she sent me a picture and it was in the pink color and she wanted to know if I was interested. So I thought about it for a while and I decided to at, at least go see it. And you know what that means. <laughs> that means I came home with the bag. So let me show it to you now. You know, and as, as I discussed in my previous video, and we know that it's not for everyone, you know, it's for some of us, it's very nostalgic, but for others, you might think it's very juvenile. Whatever the case may be, I think it elicits uh, strong uh, reactions on either end of the spectrum there. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> okay, so here is the pink jelly bag and it comes with this wristlet strap and of course the the longer strap is here inside the bag. So the first thing I'm going to do is take off this wristlet strap. I mean I think that would be a really cool like um keychain or like lanyard strap. I think I will use it for something else but not for this bag. So take a look at this. It it, it has even the jelly hang tag. I think the color of the sea is really pretty going with that uh, pink color. To me, this just looks like strawberry lip gloss. <laughs> so again, it's just like, it's just lots of very fond memories of my childhood here. You can see the back of the creed from the back of the bag and the hardware is silver. Okay, so let's open it up and let's look at this strap. One of the things that impressed me with this bag was the width of this strap. Like it's really quite wide and chunky and I like that a lot. Of course, I'll show you what it looks like when I try it on later, but I just I just thought that was really cool. And what I was so interested in seeing was how translucent this bag is. And so as you can see, when I put my hand in here, it's not opaque, like you could actually see through this bag, but of course it's colored. So it's not completely clear, but I think they got it in terms of being able to like see through, but not completely see through. So let me just show you a difference here between the um, Furla bag and the Coach Jelly bag. So this Furla bag you can kind of see the shadow of my hand, but you can't see any of the details of my hand here. So it's very opaque. Contrast to this, coach bag, you can even see, like, if I just put my hand behind it here, you can see how, like, translucent that is. And also, I'm really impressed with the size. Like, this is quite, this is quite a significant size. I uh, tried to put some of my things in it while I was in the store, and as soon as I put my long wallet in here, I was like, yeah, I'm sold. <laughs> it's, it has a lot more room than I first imagined that it would. The first way I've got the bag packed up is with the pink theme. So I've got all the little things inside something bigger so there's not like, you know, little things all about. So let me show you what that looks like. Up here at the top of the bag, I have just a pair of sunnies laying on top. I have my phone case there on the back of the bag. 
I have my long wallet there in the middle. This is by the brand Limea, which stands for love you, mean it always. And then this is what I was using to keep all the little things together. So this is my catch-all. This is a long shot pouch. So inside here I have like my key fob, a pen, a pack of gum, medication. Well, you know, just all the little, oh, a lipstick, you know, just all the little random bits that float around, you know, in your bag. And keep them in here with the color pink, just trying to keep it like, you know, tidy. If you're not a, a long wallet user and you prefer a, oh, <laughs> that scared me. Okay, that's Charlie. If you are um, a card holder, let me show you how much room you have in this bag. Phone on the back wall. I've got two card holders here. This is my Fendi card holder. This is for my excess overflow. And it, I have them both like, standing up vertically there. I've got a pack of wet ones in here, and then I have that long shot pouch there on the front. Still plenty of room to put the sunnies on top because still there's lots of room along the top there. Well, lots, you know what I mean. Closes easily, and this is what it looks like when you look around the bag like that. Okay, what if you are a Louis Vuitton lover and you would like to use a mini pochette? I'll put the contents of this into a mini pochette and show you what that looks like on the inside. So I know the sun is coming in on me right here, so that may help or hurt. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> so anyway, you can see the uh, mini pochette here in the front of the bag. And then as we turn it around, you can see that I've got the clay here and then I've got my Fendi card holder here. So as long as your card numbers <laughs> aren't showing at the top of your card holder, I think you'll be okay there. And then I've got my Fendi keychain here on the edge. So here you can have a little more fun, I think, with your SLGs. You could have a little bit more fun and attention, you know, with like arranging your things in, in your bag in terms of what will show through. That's pretty fun. Okay, now if you don't care, let me just show you what, um, what it all looks like. I'm going to take the things out of my um, mini pochette and just let it fall where it may. I just dumped out this, the little, all the little things from my mini pochette, you know, the gum, chapstick, lipstick, some uh, medication, a pen is down in there, you know, just a lot of stuff. So that's what it looks like if you just, if you just let it be. But I think um, definitely I'll be using the little um, SLGs in my purse, but I just wanted to show you that's what it looks like if you didn't want to do that and just have it look like all natural like that. Okay, so here's what the bag looks like on me. I've got the, let's see, I think I've got the, I've got the whole, yeah, on the middle setting. So there's two more adjustments to go shorter, two more to go a longer. So there's a lot of um, uh, flexibility with the sizing for this. I think it's super cute. So thanks for joining me today. And as we discuss this really cute, fun jelly bag, it definitely brings back such fun memories and nostalgia for me. I really am glad that someone returned it and that I was able to pick it up. If you are interested in one, they do have uh, limited quantities, but some are coming to some select stores. So there are some out there. You just might have to do a little digging and phoning around to some stores in select cities to find one that you want. So good luck with your shopping if you are interested in one. Thanks so much for liking the video. Thanks for subscribing. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. You take care. See you next time. Bye.